Welcome everybody to the downtown Brockton holiday parade celebration here in Brockton, Massachusetts. This is BCA. I'm Miles Jackson along with Councilman Tom Minicello. Well, Councilman-elect, but current school committee member for Ward 1. Tom thank Minichello. you, thank you, thank you for that. And Leandra Montero. So nice to have you guys here this beautiful afternoon here in beautiful Brockton, Massachusetts, Tom. A gorgeous, crisp day after Thanksgiving. Uh, winter has arrived. It's, it's nice and chilly, cool, windy, um, and it's definitely the start of the new season. Yes, indeed. And as far as the young people, let's hear your perspective, Leandra. Well, so we're here today because um, every year they do this. Last year we, did, we couldn't do anything because of COVID, but um, I'm glad we were able to do it this year because it's awesome. I like it. Like I've always, like since I was a little girl, I come and I watch it. It's, it's amazing to see everybody out here, you know, supporting Brockton. I love it. Great. Now, was there much chatter with the young people in social media about the um, Brockton Holiday Parade? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Like, I used to be in the parade when I was in high school. I was in the JROTC, so I used to march um, every year in this parade, so it's awesome. Yeah, now, Tom, I know you participated in this holiday parade over the years. Um, what's your pers uh, perspective on this? Well, I think that it's always a fun time. Uh, the, the, the students and children are all excited, as you can see them running around. The street vendors uh, have hit the streets with cotton candy and all the floats and all the uh, balloons and things that the kids like to uh, like to ask their parents to get for them. So, Leandre, is it pink or blue cotton candy? Which is the one to buy? Blue is the best. Uh, <laughs> all right. And and I heard the parade has started, guys. And um, I believe we've got the Brockton police representing um, coming in first, Tom. Absolutely. Here they come, Brockton Police Motorcycle Unit. They uh, looks like they are leading off our parade today. The parade today, uh, the Grand Marshal is Jalen Brandeo, the nine-year-old girl who was resourceful, thoughtful, and opened her father's iPhone when the family was in distress because of carbon monoxide poisoning and got the police and the, uh, and the firemen and the ambulances to the home to save everyone. She's, she's our mar Grand Marshal today, and deservingly so. Oh, definitely deservingly so. And as you can see, like Tom said, we got the uh, motorcycle team leading the parade this, um, this afternoon. Le Leandra? I said we have the motorcycle team here, Brockton Police. Also, bikes, they're here. They're trying to lead the parade and make sure everything goes well and safe. And indeed, it's a beautiful, sunny, I'd say crisp, Tom, Dry, afternoon gorgeous, here. Yes, gorgeous day in downtown Brockton. We can see the activity in Brockton. We, we're out here seeing the new development, the beautiful buildings that are now being built in Brockton, uh, right down the street from where there was a, you know, there are movie, movie companies coming to Brockton to film. Uh, in fact, this is uh, one of the streets here, uh, Frederick Douglass Way, where they filmed uh, a movie uh, regarding old time Detroit. So we have, a lot, we have a lot going on as well as the sirens from the Brockton Motorcycle Unit. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. And you mentioned, Tom, that we've got a new business right across the street. Um, coming soon, the Brockton Beer Company, who, who um, sh showed some of their wares at um, this um, summer's summer thing right over here. Um, I'm just drawing a blank. Oh, yeah, Prova. Prova, yep, yes. The beer, the beer tent, yeah, lots of activity. Uh, the Brockton Motorcycle Unit is followed by the Downtown Brockton Association. Part Everyone's excited to, for today. Oh, Everyone definitely so, their Tom. Hats on. Definitely so. They're all excited with the Brockton Hello. Association How are you? giving us a wave. And next, who we have next, Tom? It looks like it's the color guard from the Brockton Police Department, along with their Brockton Police traditional paddy wagon that's shouting out with that siren. Leandra, don't sharp. they look sharp? They look sharp in the uniform. I love it. Yeah, they do. With the color guard in front yes, and some do. of our Brockton's finest in the back. Yeah, it looks like that's a nice old antique paddy wagon from the Brockton PD that they take out on special occasions like parades today. Paddy wagon number one. 
Yeah, gee, that's a pretty old paddy wagon there. That's back in the day. Well, Miles, back in the day, I wasn't in that back of that paddy wagon. <laughs> In the paddy wagon is Jamie Hand. Chief Gomes is driving the Brockton paddy wagon. Jamie Hand Gomes. Oh, the Brockton police are handing out candy. That's great. Here we go. We got some. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays. The Brockton Color Guard Police Department is followed by the firefighters their color guard, and the Brockton Pipes and Drums. Miles, I think you have some information on the Brockton Pipes and Drums. Yes, right here you can see the um, firefighters color guard marching towards City Hall, and right over there at City Hall you have the firefighters memorial statue uh, honoring our firefighters, Brockton firefighters, that died in the 1941 um, Brockton Theater fire. Yes, Strand right Theater. Here, Strand Theater, thank you, right here on the corner. And um, they're just giving their respects to um, the color guard. Let's watch the color guard, everyone. They do a fine job. Followed with the music of the pipes and drums from the Brockton Fire Department. We're very fortunate in Brockton to have such a uh, dedicated group of individuals. Yeah, right now they're playing the Little Drummer Boy, one of the famous Christmas carols. Um, here in Brockton. And again, the name of the group is the Firefighters, Brockton Firefighters, Pipes and Drums. Giving us a holly, uh, holiday song. Lots of people here in downtown Brockton on Main, Main Street. Pipes and drums appear at many different memorial services, celebrations all over the state. We are very proud to have them as part of our city. Yeah, and they're looking awfully sharp, Tom, with their um, traditional kilts, sharp boots, Santa hats. I would venture to say, Leander, that if Miles Jackson were out there with one of those kilts, his legs would be awfully muscular and in good shape. <laughs> I'd be awfully cold, Tom. Awfully cold. And a nice applause by the crowd here on Main Street. We got a pretty decent crowd considering um, last year we didn't have a parade. Well, it's so nice to have a parade. You know, awesome. Love it. It's nice, a nice tradition. It's a, great, it's a great day for all the young people and all the families to come out and enjoy this start of the holiday season. It's exciting. Yes, and again, our hats off to our Brockton firefighters and our Brockton firefighters pipes and drums did a great job commemorating, by, yeah. commemorating those firefighters from 1941. Followed by Chief Nardelli and the Brockton Fire Department. Looking sharp. Yeah, looking very sharp. And then we have Brockton Firefighter Engine 3 and Ladder 1 that certainly is in use and is used to save and help a lot of people in the city here in an emergency. Well, there you go. Yeah, it, 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 it's amazing how these guys, they'll go out on whatever the call is, doesn't matter if it's someone in the streets that might have had a problem or a fire up on the third floor somewhere, these guys are always um, come right out there. Cold, hot, doesn't matter. They always do an awesome job with that. They know, how, they know what they're doing. Awesome. When you need them, they will be there. Yeah, these some very sharp trucks here. Ladder number one for the Brockton Fire Department. You know, throughout the summertime, they open up the fire department and children can come in and see the trucks and all the equipment. It's always a fun day. Yeah, Brockton Fire Department has always opened up to the community for years. And you can see their, uh, who is this, the Brockton Emergency uh, yep. Management Brockton Association. Emergency Management. Here in Brockton. Followed by the Grand Marshal of the Parade, 
Jalen Brandeo. She's the little girl who saved her family from the carbon monoxide, and they're driving in a beautiful convertible from Copeland, she is. Toyota. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then here's our mayor. Let's say hello mayor. to the mayor. Happy holidays. This Merry Christmas, Mayor Sullivan. Great to see you, Mr. Hello, Mayor. Hello, Tom. Great. This is unbelievable. Gorgeous. Another great day in the city of Chicago. Beautiful, Champions, exactly. Huh? It's all festive. Oh, followed by our, our elected officials. Absolutely. Mr. Mayor, you're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. And we oh, got the here council comes Jack Lally. all right here. here. Comes here. Tom city Council, Hawaii. yes. Oh, all the politicians. Rita Mendez, how are you? My main man, Tom oh, Monahan. Here's how our you school doing? department host, Councilor elect. Happy holidays. School committee elect from Ward 1, Mike Thomas. Happy holidays. Hey guys, happy Jerry holidays. Cassidy, to you. our state rep, John, John Buckley, our registrar of Oh, here he is. Our representative, great to see you guys. State Representative Cassidy. A great showing out, from our elected official here in Brockton. Here at um, oh, wow. the holiday here's parade. The and here's the most beautiful thing I love to see every year wow. the horses. Indeed. Oh, I love it. Of course you can. Horses. Absolutely. Yep, here's our Clydesdales from, oh, Hallamar. Hallamar Crane Company. They bring the spirit. Yep, Hallamar Crane Company. Those are gorgeous horses. Clydesdales. Look at the size of those horses, my goodness. Beautiful, beautiful. Such an effort that goes into bringing those horses here. Now that's the spirit. Hallamar Cranes. Yeah, those those horses are over 1,500 pounds a piece. Yeah, it was, those Clydesdale were beautiful. Um, I'm, wow. I would say, you know, Leandra, when I, when I, why don't you introduce this next group? I sure will. So now here we have the Gerald to see from Brockton High School. Um, they always do an excellent job. They're very sharp with the uniform. They take this very serious. I used to be in Gerald to see for four years straight, freshman year to senior year. And I loved it, and I still do. It's a good group, and a large group of students. It's a large it, group of students. Yes, so, so basically, you've you've marched in this parade. Oh yes, most definitely every year. You enjoyed it? I enjoyed it. Tell Only me years the this year. Of these students. Tell me about the character of these students. So, um, right. So how you see them? They're divided into Group A, Group B. Um. At least I'm a Brockton High's best. Oh yeah, most definitely. <laughs> As you go around, they're everywhere, but yeah. Brockton High, I think that they're, they're yeah. the... Yeah, they're, they're a very sharp, yes. sharp group Yes. Uh, up at Brockton High's um, Junior ROTC. We're all very proud of them. Good character, though, to join the JROTC. Good character. Good character. Followed now by our band and our majorettes and our halftime dancers and our flag, flag persons. Always a treat, the Brockton High School Band. Now we have the best majorettes, cheerleaders, flag girls in all of um, Eastern Massachusetts. I would say all of the state. Yes, all of the state. And of course, the best high school marching band east of are. the Mississippi. And here they are, in all their glory. Excellent job when it comes to this. You gotta love that rhythm. Yes. And the band just remind me, let's give a shout out and congratulations to the Brockton High School football team who won their second straight Southeastern Conference Championship. Absolutely. They're doing it, they're on the they're on a roll. They are gonna be a force to be reckoned with. And here we go. Brockton High School band. Brockton High School band followed by a number of semi trucks, a number of trucks here from local vendors. Lynch's Lynch's towing leads the way. Yeah, Lynch's towing is a fixture here in Brockton for years. You've always seen them at the big, unfortunately at big accidents, but you can always depend on Lynch's towing. If, if you have a big rig, Lynch's will be right there. And they always contribute. When the, when the parades are larger, they always let the schools and people who have floats utilize their vehicles to 
to, to tow the different floats and to have people on top of the on top of the vehicles and the beds. So they are a great a great friend to the city of Brockton. Yeah, well, that, that's a great job that this committee that puts this parade on, they get the whole community of Brockton involved in this parade. And I think Lynch's towing is basically acting as the reindeer. And who are they pulling for everyone to see but old St. Nick. And, and that, that, that's the big guy right there, right? There, there, there he is. So it looks like Lynch's towing is acting as the reindeer pulling Santa Claus in downtown Brockton, Old St. Nicholas. And, and here's oh, one of our organizers, Mary Organizer, Waldron. Mary Waldron. Mary, come on, oh, excuse me, Mary Waldron. Hello. How you doing, Mary? It's a little chilly, but man, the spirit of Christmas is here. Hi there. Oh, we're so happy that you and your group um, put this all together. It's just is. really Santa exciting Claus. to get us back on our feet again here this awesome. holiday. Well, here comes Santa. Nikki, Nikki Draves is amazing. And now we're going to go back to City Hall. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas, Thank you, Mary. Santa. You know, and, all and, the kids are excited about seeing Santa. Yeah, you just heard Mary Waldron just talk a little bit of, very quickly about what, what they have done here. And it just really uplifts Brockton um, at this time of year. And here comes our number one Brockton <laughs> photographer right here, my man Mark. Sure. Mark is a fixture. Okay. Uh, it, it was short but sweet, Tom. A very great parade. Thank you. I'm glad we could all be a part of it. Here we are. I want to say goodbye to everyone, and I think that this will be a start of a wonderful season. What do you think, Leandra? Definitely will. I, I, I already can't wait for next year because I feel like they're going to bring it back as it usually is. The, Bigger, you know, more people to come out, more things to show. Um, this year was small, but it was better than last year. So. Well, there you have it. We're very thankful that Brockton was able to put this out on today, especially after last year. We didn't have no parade, but we had something this afternoon on a beautiful, crisp day down here in Boogie Down, Brockton. So I'm Miles Jackson, along with Councilman Minicello and my girl Leandra. Leandra. Yes, it's so nice to meet you, Leandra. And, and Tom, I'm just oh, councilman a elect. Councilman city, elect. I'm a city school committee member of Award One currently. Thank you very much, Tom. Again, this is Miles Jackson for BCA TV. We're sounding out. Happy Thanksgiving and a happy holidays to everybody.